Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yep, back at my favorite place, Superior Auto Sales. That's ASCard.com. First disclaimer, no, I don't work here. As you all know, they do allow me to record your cards, which is great. But in the meantime, I would love it if you guys would subscribe to my channel. It definitely helps me out and helps me grow on YouTube and through the YouTube algorithm by giving it a big fat thumbs up. Leaving comments, I always respond to them. I'm not like some of the other guys who just leave a heart or a thumbs up. I actually write something. But I have something that I've never recorded here, but I'm gonna kind of call this one the best of both worlds because there's something newer and something older here. So I'm gonna show you. Oop. This Trans Am right here. This is a 77, but this Audi R8. And this is the Performance Package V10 2021. And that's what this one is. 532 horses. And it's only got 3,000 miles on it. That is it. A lot of carbon fiber on it. It's front lip. Carbon fiber, as you can see. I mean, this car is perfect. For 3,000 miles on it, it should be. Carbon fiber. Even the door stills. I mean, it's, it's nice. A little dirty. No, actually, no, not dirty. That's just a reflection of the floor. But yeah, I wanted to do a video on this one. Do a quick walk around on it. I mean, this car is gorgeous. Carbon fiber rear wing. Nice big exhaust tips. Rear air dam, that's all carbon fiber also. But it is beautiful. Oh yeah, all carbon fiber on the side, up here. Tenant windows, I think that's the only thing that was done to this car. Carbon fiber mirrors. Sorry I had to get so close, but they have two of them in here right now, two cars. So it's a little hard to get in here a little bit. But that Trans Am is still cool too. I don't know if this got sold, because the window sticker isn't in it anymore, so I'm assuming it has. I'm going to show you show you around in it, like I always do. I'm going to open the door here. I'm going to open the other one, make a little lighter in there, because it is a little dark with the tinted windows. I just don't want to hit the, the wall, because that would be bad. But yeah, this car is super clean. Super, super clean. Black leather with the red leather in the door cards. Red leather seats. And the best part of recording these cars, getting in it. Man, I know it has 3,000 miles because you can find this car on their website at sascar.com. I know it was just had all the pictures taken, so I'm sure it's probably on there. Might not be. Little teeny tiny. Kind of little, little mirror, which is kind of nice. They don't flip up that way. You go forward. But this car smells super nice, too. Uh, and it is very comfortable. I know with some cars, some sports cars are not, but Audi does build a nice car. I don't know. Oh. Little cup holders. I don't know if you press it again and that opens up. Uh, it doesn't want to. I'm not going to force it. All the controls are right here. Down there. I'm not sure. You got your auxiliary. Oh, though they're okay for like phone chargers and that down in there. But yeah, they have simplified this card too. It is very nice. Gear selector. And the seat, I mean, it smells brand new in here. 3,000 miles. Diamond on the ceilings. With the suede. That, there's a name for it. I keep forgetting it. And I know as soon as I go to say what it is, I'm not going to get it right. <laughs> but that's okay. But yeah, it is a very, very beautiful car. Carbon fiber touches on the doors. Getting out of it. Ah. I don't have the door open all the way because the Trans Am's right next to it. 
But the motor, I couldn't get all of it open, just the back hatch right here, which is fine. You can still see in there all carbon fiber all around it. This is the rear wheel drive. This is not all wheel drive. And I know the price on this is 186. So if you are interested in it, look on our website, sascar.com, and just tell them you've seen it on my channel. Yeah, this car is absolutely stunning. And you can hear the rain coming too. Keeps hitting the ceilings. But yeah. Power seats. I mean, at least the camera is showing most of it in here. Is there carbon fiber behind the seats? No, they're, they're different. Definitely no back seats in this car. Just a little area back there with a little thing. You know, but maybe a little overnight bag or something if you're heading out and you decide you're going to stay out for the weekend. Oh, look at that. I just noticed that. On the floor, Audi Sport. That's kind of cool how these car companies do that. Even right here on the door still, it's lit up. Tinted windows. I'm going to shut this down. And it's nice because there is, if you can see the lines, there is rear defrost on this and rear defrost on that back window. Close it up carefully here. There we go. Yeah. Look at the tires on this too. Oh. They got Michelin on it. The auto sport rims. And these tires are very thin and they are big. They probably look like they're 20s or something like that. I can't see on here. I don't feel like turning my head upside down. Oh yeah, 305 30 20. That was right. 20 inch rims. Carbon brakes. And tires look like they're brand new. So now, look in the front. big hood yeah it's got all your floor mats in it I don't think they've ever been put in like ever um, but these are for access for what I have no idea I mean you got your one show washer fluid it really isn't much to show up here except for the hood is very, very large. But it is cool. But it does give you enough room, like I said, you know, if you're heading out for a weekend, you can put some little room in the back. You know, a little duffel bag of clothes and maybe throw a small piece of luggage up here. So this way when you are, you know, if you're out and you decide, hey, I'm going to spend a weekend somewhere. Whoop. Close this the right way. There we go. So yeah, this car is very nice. I mean, it's it's showroom shape. It's a brand new car. It's only 3,000 miles on it. I mean, for the year that it is, I don't think anybody ever really drove it. I mean, it's three years old. They put 1,000 miles a year on it, which is perfect if you're keeping it exercised. That is good for it. Some people like to let these cars sit and it's a bad thing to do because things need to be exercised, especially cars. Oil needs to go through the motor and through the valves and all that. Keep all your seals lubricated. Which they should do. Some people don't. They just like to buy them, collect them, and never really drive them. Cars are meant to be driven. I don't care how much money you spend on it. If you spend, you know, $1,500 on a car or you spend $1.5 on a car, it needs to be driven. Because that's why they're here. And cars are meant to do that. Still love this Trans Am though. I think this one's leaving. And a lot of people who don't know, a lot of you millennials, that's where the gas goes in, behind the gas door. 
is a cool car though. It is nice. But yeah. One last look at her. She is nice. But all right guys, I'm gonna end this one here. I hope you like this car as much as I did because this is the first time I've got a chance to record one. So if you like it, leave a comment down below. If you really do like it, please leave it a thumbs up. It does help my channel. But in the meantime, take care and I'll see you on the next one.